Alvis Limited was created when United Scientific Holdings plc acquired the Alvis division of the nationalised vehicle manufacturer British Leyland in 1981. United Scientific maintained its own name until 1992 when the group was renamed Alvis plc. Alvis acquired Swedish armoured vehicle manufacturer Haglunds AB in 1997 and the armoured vehicle business of GKN in 1998. Finally, it acquired Vickers Defence Systems from Rolls-Royce in October 2002. Alvis was acquired by Bay Systems in 2004 and became Bay Systems Land Systems Weapons and Vehicles, now part of the Bay Systems Land and Armaments Operating Group. History Alvis became part of Rover in 1965, which ended the company's car manufacturing in 1967 to allow it to concentrate on the manufacture of armored vehicles. In 1968 Rover and its Alvis subsidiary were incorporated into the Leyland Motor Corporation later British Leyland or BL. In 1981 the then nationalized BL sold the Alvis business to United Scientific Holdings for £27 million. United Scientific was a manufacturer of military sighting products. In 1992 United Scientific adopted the name Alvis plc. In October 1997 Alvis acquired Haglunds which was later renamed Alvis Haglunds AB. In September 1998 Alvis acquired the armoured vehicle business of GKN in a deal which saw GKN take a 29.9% stake in Alvis. GKN's shareholding was purchased by Bay Systems in September 2003 for £73 million. In early 2000, Alvis sold a share of its Avimo Group Optronics subsidiary to Thomson CSF and sold all of its remaining shareholding to Thales Group, the renamed Thomson CSF, in 2001. In 2002 Alvis acquired Vickers Defence Systems from Rolls-Royce for £16 million and merged it with its existing UK business to form Alvis Vickers. The acquisition of Vickers brought the Challenger tank into Alvis' portfolio, as well as Vickers' successful military bridging division and its South African subsidiary Vickers OMC. Topic Bay Takeover In 2004, the board of Alvis approved a £309 million takeover bid by the American defense company General Dynamics. Within three months Bay Systems, which already had a 29% stake in the company, outbid General Dynamics by offering £355 million. The action was seen as a defense of the home market from a foreign rival. David Mulholland of Jane's Defense Weekly said, I don't believe Bay expects to make money from this deal, characterizing the purchase as strategic rather than commercial. The bid was accepted by the majority of shareholders. In September 2004, Bay announced the creation of Bay Systems Land Systems, a new company bringing together the Bay subsidiaries, Bay Systems Row Defense and Alvis Vickers. Alvis Vickers became Bay Systems Land Systems Weapons and Vehicles Limited, a subsidiary of Bay Systems Land Systems. In 2005, the acquisition of United Defense led to the creation of Bay Systems Land and Armaments. Topic: See also Alvis Car and Engineering Company.